Watch your retro game fans, welcome back to the Zeus Dads and Emulator Retro Game Channel and I go by the name of Zeus and for this let's play you see it in gold and black. One of the best ever games developed for the Amiga 500 and 1200 in fact, uh, the Chaos Engine by those great programmers, that great software house, uh, the Bitmap Brothers, released back in 1993. And for me this game was the pinnacle of Amiga games. This was uh, developed, born and died as far as I'm concerned on the 500. There was other versions that came along, you had it on Tari ST, um, it came out on the Mega Drive, it also came out uh, on the snares known as Soldiers of Fortune. But for me this was the pinnacle version and for the Amiga alone you had to have this game. Absolutely fantastic game, wonderful metallic graphics, a fantastic music uh, score by uh, Richard Joseph. Um, there are two other musicians actually involved in this, as far as I'm correct, and uh, they're actually two brothers. And one of them is Farouk Joy and Haroon Joy. So <laughs> I don't know if I pronounced that right, but most of you probably think the whole soundtrack was done by Richard Joseph. And um, probably right, most of it was, but those two, I assume, uh, presume brothers. Um, had something to say on it as well. But either way, a fantastic music score. In fact, a couple of the tunes in this um, long play, uh, long play, in this let's play, in this particular game is on my Amiga 500, top 75 countdown tunes. Uh, if you haven't seen that, then please do. It's on my channel, uh, front page, a couple of lines down, you'll see it. Um, nearly six hours long of A500 music. Um, for me, I've always, I, in fact, I actually was so impressed with this game that it was uh, one game that I bought on original. And I do have my fair share of original games, but they're mostly crack copies, I've got to say. But I did go out and buy some originals, and this was one of them. I just had to have the original this, original box, instructions, uh, it, uh, and inside you get, uh, you get the game and you get a load of picture cards and everything else. It's such a cool uh, uh, box. I'm very, very um, happy to have that. Um, but this game, as I said, uh, it's just wonderful. What can I say more about it? Everything, the playability is spot on, the graphics are spot on, the playability is spot on, the sound effects is wicked, and the, and the music is, is fantastic. It's just one styled, cool game, period. Fantastic game by the Bitmap Brothers. And the idea of this is uh, you can either play it on your own or you can play it with uh, a second player, a friend or a computer. And the idea is you've got to go through four different worlds. Uh, each world contains four stages, uh, and eventually you'll get to the actual Chaos Engine themselves. And the Chaos Engine was invented by this mad scientist. Um, something went wrong, and, it, uh, and the mad scientist became part of the Chaos Engine. Not just trapped, but actually part of it. So you're, the idea is you must get to this Chaos Engine, completely uh, blow the thing up, and uh, I, um, I think the idea is you've got to save the scientist um, at the end, and um, which leads on to Chaos Engine 2, but that's that's another chapter. We get into that when uh, when that Let's Play is up for Chaos Engine 2. What we're going to do, we're going to have a. Uh, I think might even just have one game. I don't know, no cheats or anything like that. I'm going to um, see how far I can get here. And if you want to see the whole game unemulated in full, the link. Again, in this Let's Play will be in the description. Just go to the description of this video. You'll see a link there. It will take you to uh, uh, the Chaos Engine um, 4. Uh, start to finish. Cheats, obviously, but everything is complete and uh, and recorded. So all loading times, silent times, been edited out. So it's it's a fluent uh, recording. So you might enjoy that. I hope you will. So let's press the fire button. And my favourite character. There's six characters in this. Um, one of them was slightly changed for the American version which was called Soldiers of Fortune and that was the Preacher and I think because they're heavily Catholic over there uh, they didn't like the idea of a guy that worked for God going around um, being part of this war game so uh, he was changed I can't remember what he was called uh, without looking it up and um, could have done my revision there but to be honest with you I couldn't really be bothered I don't really deal with any SNES, SNES games um, but that was the story of that. They changed the preacher in this version. Um, and they say he's a very good, um, he's very good, he's very clever. 
but he's got a very perverse nature. Now, I don't think they mean perverse as far as perverted, you know, um, little kids and things like that. He's just got a twisted mind. He's, he works for God, but there's an evilness to him. Uh, hence why he's part of this team. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, one player in CPU. We go for that, obviously, because I'm playing on my own here. Start a new game. This is one of my favourite tunes. That's in my Amiga Top uh, 75 countdown. It's just a very metallic uh, sound to it. And for many of you, this is a fantastic uh, tune on a 500, A500. I just absolutely love this loop. It just sounds so cool. I can't get enough of it. And I'm sorry to say, as sad as it may sound, I've had it on, I recorded it on mini disc years ago and and I've still play it now and then in my car, loud. I don't, I don't honestly, is that sad maybe? And do I care? No, I don't. <laughs> don't give a fuck. I like the sound of it and I'll listen to it. Simple as that. Uh, but six characters, you can see, uh, there's the preacher, but they changed him for the American release. Uh, Gentleman, which is very similar to uh, Brigand, 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 whatever you pronounce it. That is my second favorite player, Mercenary. And that's my first player, uh, first favorite game uh, player out of the game, Navi. Um, yeah, him and him. That's the choices I have. Don't really see point of Thug. Thug and uh, Preacher, they omitted from Chaos Engine 2. Don't know why, maybe they wasn't very popular, but we're going with Navi. There we go. And second player, we're going to go for Mercenary. <clears throat> and uh, that'll do. <clears throat> A little bit of loading time, not much, uh, but at least you get a little um, uh, uh, tune to uh, go with it, so uh, it's not so bad. I don't know how far I've actually got in this game, to be honest with you. Uh, without graph without cheats, I cannot fully remember, uh, life of me remember. But slapping on the cheats is brilliant. Um, it's just a great game. Here we go. So there we go, there's Navi, that's me. Just listen to that. Look at that a lovely explosion of effects on that and the sounds when you shoot them. It's just a, the pinnacle of shooter games. It's a fantastic game. And I remember when this came out, and it's true, I was there because I had, I had, um, I had my own, uh, I had other computers as well at the time. But it was true. Um, the Amiga owners, when they got this game, was just, uh, it was show off galore. There was many formats that didn't come on and, and people that own different formats that didn't have this game were so jealous. It's a cracking game. And um, I've seen Soldiers of Fortune on the snares and Mega Drive version. It just doesn't cut this version. This is um, the best, no doubt about it. So your idea is, yeah, you're, you're, in pe you're working as a team in this. This is usually a relatively... Uh, I love that speech as well. I don't know who does the speech in there. It might be... I wonder if it is Richard Joseph. Who knows? <clears throat> but you can see it just looks wonderful. It plays so well as well. Don't, whoa, there we go. I blasted a few of you out, didn't it? Ah. Keep your finger on the fire button. I can't quite remember how you... Um, Swap with the button. I can't remember where we go. That's the first. That was easy, easy stage. That one. <clears throat> there we go. Very easy stage that, but believe me, it gets a hell of a lot harder. The level of difficulty is balanced very well, and for later levels, you uh, by then you should have got some uh, weapon increases. So it should be. Um, Make your game easier. Right. I can't remember how you um I know you do that, but do you I can't for the life of me remember how to fire a uh, a special weapon. Or maybe I haven't got any yet, that's probably why. That's probably why I haven't got any yet. I'm sure it's finger on the fire button. Oh, you get my coin there, that was mine. <clears throat> but you can see it just looks great. The mood is perfect, the music goes with it. Let's 
frogs are little bastards, I remember them. Mm. Yeah, see. The firepower is a bit faster now. <clears throat> Rid of you. You're not helping. I hate these bloody frogs. They're hard to. Uh, yeah. Arr. Oh, lost my first life. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, let's try again. Now. You don't. Get out of it. That's what I want. Uh, there's no, there's no guardians in this game at all. There isn't Chaos Engine 2, but there's no level guardians in this. Uh, apart from the very last level, the actual Chaos Engine. Damn! Oh, it's sent me right over there. Come on! I thought I collected a safe token. These frogs are little bastards. Really are. <clears throat> There's the safe one. Damn it. You collect that when you die, you go back to a much closer starting point. Without it, you can get be sent you can be sent back quite far. Now then. What do I do now? I can't remember. Probably going completely the wrong way here. I'm sure I am. I'm pretty sure I am actually. I think I am going the wrong way here. <coughs> Let's try again. These fuckers keep appearing, don't they? No, it's not this way. It's definitely not this way. Come on, Darren. Get your act together, mate. Well, where the hell's the exit? Mm. Finger on the fire button for the special weapons. <clears throat> okay. it's definitely longer this stage, no doubt about it. I love the speech in this as well. It's, it's a very good. Um, just perfect for the game. Everything's perfect in this. I just can't knock this game. In fact, the only thing I could say is um, they didn't make it overscan, which is a shame. It's the only thing, though. No. Not a big deal, really. Could have made it overscan, I'm sure. But they didn't, for whatever reason. And also, what I like about this is that your players do learn, they get more clever. So they're not, it's not a dumb controlled computer character. They actually do fight properly, your second player. Right, we've got the exit open now, there we go. Oh good, stage two down. Two down, uh, 14 to go. So now I should be going to a um, weapon, yeah, I'm going to um, a, strengthening, a strengthening up screen where you can build your artillery to, uh, artillery, the level, to artillery up you know, you know what I bloody mean see, you only get certain money and you can't see wisdom 
Wisdom, speed, health, skill, extra life. Can't afford that, so oh well. Exit. Oh, what, how much money has he got? Not a lot, let's have a look. Health, no, skill. There we go, let's get the skill up. Okay, there we go, to level three, well, world one, level three. Each level looks, I don't know, from some point of view they're very similar, but they're not, they're definitely very different, the, the four worlds. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry if I cough a couple of times, I've got uh, a bit of an um, irritation in the throat, a cough. I'm just trying to get rid of it. Right, where are we now? Ah, these things again. So now, if my fire weapon's up a little bit more, the power-up's a bit stronger. I'm guessing where I'm going here, because it's been a while since i played this, so I can't quite remember where I'm going. Come on, you fuckers. the sound of it as well when you're shooting these things. Thank you. Add some of that wonga. Don't let's fool you. One of these there you go, you can actually uh, shoot those things. A few bonuses up here. Sam, got to get those. see the detail even in the concrete uh, the stairs uh, every, everything's there it's a typical bitmap brothers speciality that is is detail metallic looking graphics you know if something's gray they just won't use one shade of gray they use a lot of them it just makes the game their games look so stylish and cool every time i hear of a bitmap brothers game as soon as you say bitmap brothers i think of metallic Which it has. Have it. Ugh, now where do I go? I can't remember. Oh, no keys. Got some cash. Fucking things. Oh, I hate those things. Anything down here? No. Apart from ah, there's some more keys. Got to get them because you know it's going to open something. That I need to get to. No, oh, fuck off. Yep. Right. <clears throat> Safe key, yeah, that's fine. Whoa, no. Come on, blow him up. Yeah, well done, Daz. Nicely timed, son. Okay, thank you. Oh. The second play is useful as well for taking hits. things get the safe key that's it nicely you fucker I ran straight into that now oh, bugger I think that's game over it is <coughs> oh bugger I don't think you can continue in this game either yeah that was it bloody hell shall I have another go 
Should I have another go? What do you think? Should I have another go? Is it worth it? Um, it's a fantastic game. Um, no, I don't think it's worth having another go, is it? You get the idea of it. There's four worlds. Uh, that was stage three of the first world. Brilliant game. That's all I can say. Fantastic game. Uh, if you haven't played it by perhaps 22 years old now, so um, that's scary, isn't it? 22 years. If you haven't played that, then I guess you wasn't born at the time. Otherwise, what the fuck were you doing? Because you've missed a gem. A real, real gem. But there you go. That's the Chaos Engine for the Amiga 500. Wonderful game. Will always be one of my favourites. And as far as I'm concerned, probably the square root of Amiga games. Um, yeah, just class. From start to finish. From graphics to music to playability. Everything. Just fantastic game. Alright guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that Let's Play, and until next time, take care and happy gaming.